Hi, I'm Jordan Chapp, and welcome to People in Perspective. Today, we have Mike Ryan Gruber on the show with us today. He is a counselor and the head coach of our varsity basketball team here at RB. How are you doing today, Mike? I'm doing great. Thanks, Jordan. All right, that's great. Uh, let's talk about where it all started uh, at RB. So how did you find yourself here coming to RB? Was it counseling that brought you here, uh, the basketball team? Uh, originally, I was a student here at RB, graduated in 95, and I started... Uh, playing college basketball. Once my coach at the time, Jim Martin, found out I wasn't going to play my junior year, uh, they had an opening as a freshman B team coach. And I, live, I went to school at North Central College in Naperville, so it allowed me, uh, he asked me to coach. I came back here and started coaching my junior year of college, and I've been here ever since. And I think it was the 97, 98 season. So. Awesome. So you, were you anywhere else before you came to RB, like school-wise? School-wise, so... Uh, from the educational side of things, I, I graduated from North Central, uh, got my teaching degree in social studies, and I spent a semester at Glenbard East High School. Uh, and then after that, I was two years teaching uh, middle school social studies at Lindop, seventh and eighth grade Lindop School in Broadview. And then I came over to RB, what would have been my, I guess, fourth year in, in education. Uh, all the while, I was still coaching here at RB, though. So. Coaching, okay. I guess, is kind of what got my foot in the door for a full-time job. For full-time, okay. And then um, how do you enjoy counseling here? Like, is, is it everything you thought it would be? Do you enjoy it? Yeah, I, I love being a counselor here. Um, you know, it, it's changed over the years in some respects, but, uh, but being a counselor is, is great. You get to work with kids daily and individually in small groups. Uh, you never know what's around the corner. In, you know, you, you're dealing with so many different uh, issues, so many, I don't want to use the word issues necessarily, so many different um, things that go on in a school day with, with our students that, that you're working with them on, and uh, it's nice. It keeps you on your toes, and, uh, and I really enjoy it. So being a counselor here at RB, and then also being the head varsity basketball coach, those are both like, that's like a lot to handle. How do you, is there ever any like overlap or like interference with each other? Uh, not really, no. I mean, the, the counseling job is my full-time job, so you know that, that gets first priority throughout the day. Um, and, and basketball is an after-school commitment, and as you know, a lot of evenings and weekends. And um, so I feel like I do a really good job of, of balancing that. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't. There's not too much conflict, if any. So a while ago, you were coaching under Coach McCluskey, and he was here for a while, mm -hmm. and. Um, like coaching underneath him, did you have you like learned anything from him that you apply to your game now or like the team now that you wanna like keep going? Absolutely. I mean, Coach McCluskey. I worked with him for 16 years, um, and I actually played for Coach McCluskey up through my junior year of high school. Um, he left RB in what would have been my between my junior and senior year, and uh, so I've known him for years. I remember being. 10 years old at basketball camp, you know, when, when he was when he was here. So, uh, but from the coaching standpoint, when he came in in 2001, 2002, he really brought kind of a family-like atmosphere to the program that that I really enjoyed. And he, uh, you know, he taught me, I mean, tons of things. He's been an incredible mentor. Too many to to kind of mention all of them here, but um, definitely showing how to you know treat the program as a family. Uh, Really bringing you know competitiveness to practice where you're using the scoreboard and and charting wins and doing all that kind of stuff and practice every day to to keep the competition level high. Um, just overall how to run a program. He he was great at allowing me as the years went on to take more and more uh, off his plate and more and more for myself with him knowing that I wanted to be a head coach and uh, helped really prepare me in that regard as far as um, doing a lot of the, the little things and that add up, a lot of the administrative things and always gave me a voice in practice and in games and scouting and all that kind of stuff that, uh, that I think has really helped me adjust pretty seamlessly to, uh, to being a head coach. So had McCluskey not been here, do you think the whole RB basketball program would have been totally different without him? Um, I mean, he obviously put a huge stamp on it. Um, and a lot of what he did is kind of what I'm continuing with, no doubt about it. Uh, throughout those years, it, it would have been interesting. It's impossible to say. You know, I, I was still on staff at the time and had a lot of ideas. But, but you never know. He, uh, he did a great job. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad I got to work with him all those years. 
And then have, did you ever see yourself like becoming the head coach? Like Originally, no. You know, originally when I first got into it, I was just happy to coach and happy to be around. And then as I did it for a few years, uh, I realized that being a head coach was something I wanted to do. I didn't know, uh, you know, quite how long it would take, but I, I was hoping that eventually I would get my opportunity after working with Coach McCluskey. And uh, when he was ready to uh, to retire, I was ready to step in. So it took a couple of years, but but definitely uh, definitely glad it kind of evolved that way. So because you were like the assistant varsity coach, um, like you knew what to like kind of expect being the head coach was it everything you expected it to be like looking at it from like the outside like you being an assistant thinking about it now yeah you know I mean there were some definite you know adjustments that needed to be made um, but overall again coach was a great mentor and, and gave me a lot of opportunities and you know while I was the assistant varsity coach for him um, you know, my main role was actually head sophomore so I got to do a lot of the things an assistant varsity would coach and be on the bench and being in some practices and, and doing all the, the game stuff with them. But then I was also able to kind of hone my craft a little bit as the head sophomore coach where I was the one making those head coach decisions for 16 years during those games. Uh, I was the one running practice and had basically my own team. Um, so I think that best of both worlds, being an assistant varsity and head sophomore coach really helped prepare me for, for this role. Okay, and then, um, so we have uh, basketball trials right around the corner here at RB. What are you expecting for the season? Any um, like expectations for you? Sure. Yeah, I have high expectations. I think this is, uh, you know, with the with the seniors that we have returning and and the juniors that are coming up, uh, I really believe we we can have a strong year. We have a, a lot a lot of experience returning, um, three starters and multiple players that played multiple minutes throughout the year. The junior class was uh, was 21 and three as sophomores. So. Um, yeah, I'm happy to be working with uh, what we have to work with, and uh, I think it's a pretty deep group, and uh, definitely looking forward to November 5th. Okay, and uh, being in the program for so long, uh, you've been a part of the team, so who would you say is like the team's rival, like when in the mo like, most anticipated game? Um, that kind of has evolved from year to year based on the fact that like our conference has changed so much, so we really don't have a, a strong conference rival per se because... Um, just because of the, the change in the league from year to year, especially in the, I mean, I can't even count the teams that have come in and out since I started in 97. Uh, but locally, obviously our games with, uh, with LT are huge. Our games with Fenwick are huge. Uh, Morton, I'd say any, those three are, are some of our local rivals that it's unfortunate that we're not in a league with, with any of them, but, uh, but I think that the kids get pumped up for and the community gets pumped up for those games. Okay, that's great. And then um, if you could change one thing about coaching or like one thing about the team or the school or like the gym, anything like mm -hmm. the regarding like the team or your coaching, what do you think it would be? Um, that's a great question. I, you know, I don't know that right off the top of my head there's something like this is glaring that I would change. Obviously, you're always, as a coach, you want the biggest, fastest, strongest, most skilled players every year. And, you know, uh, I think we have a talented group, but obviously we have room to get better. Um, but as far as, as the school itself, our facilities, our, you know, um, everything along that re those regards is, is top notch. I guess I would change, and this is no knock at any other teams in our league, um, but I would like uh, us to be in a, uh, a league that more fit us. Um, some more maybe public schools around our size, our geographic area, uh, which is hard to find. I mean, in a, in a perfect world, I think, uh, I think we would find a league that better fit our needs. Um, but right now, this is, this is where we're at, and we're going to do our best competing against uh, and respect all those opponents. Okay. And then, um, so overall, looking at your counseling and uh, you coaching basketball, do you enjoy all of it? Like everything together? Like absolutely. you wouldn't change anything yeah, else? I wouldn't do it if I didn't. Yeah, absolutely. All right, sweet. This has oh. been uh, People in Perspective. I'm Jordan Chap, and I'm with Mike Reingruber, and uh, we'll see you next time.